Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Executive Cyber Education Podcast. I'm Dr. B, your host. Today, I would like to discuss cybersecurity investment during these financial challenging times that we are facing, and that is because of COVID-19, of course. So, are you ready? So, let's get started. Let's start with a few questions. I have a three for you. How can you tell your program is doing the right thing? How can you tell? Are you protecting your organization in a financially healthy way? And and bottom line is, how can you tell if you are spending your dollars wisely? I like to preach uh, cybersecurity is a mission-based cybersecurity. It is protecting the systems that support the mission of your organization and and, uh, that they support the revenue generating systems for that matter, right? How can you tell how you protect those systems? Do you even know where they are? So if you, t- if you think about prioritization, those systems should be at the top of your list. But most organizations right now do not understand where those systems are, what those systems are, because if they are revenue generating systems, is already a given. The information they, they contain is important, requires protection. And if they're a revenue generating system, is another given that they need to be protected, they need to be uptime in re- generating those revenues for your organization. So it's a pretty simple logic, but most organizations fail because one, one of the things that is very difficult, and no matter how you implement this, you, if you use and leverage the NIST cybersecurity framework or the ISO 27001, forgive me, or you use this CIS controls, which by the way, one of the basic controls is identify your assets, including the, the software in it. So if in, in those situations is most cybersecurity organizations is struggle with that step, but believe me, that is the foundational step that you cannot skip. You need it to get it right, so you have a, a strong program. By understanding, by having those steps in place, you will know the answer to those questions. Where is the mission-based systems? Uh, where is the revenue generating systems? Once you know that, your investment investment needs to be to those systems, and also. Not in addition, in addition to that, you need to understand that the risks that you have in your risk registers today needs to be aligned and focus on those systems and those business areas that own those systems. The alignment between the revenue generating system, the mission based systems and the risk register is imperative for a good and solid cybersecurity program. That means, you know, where in your organization uh, are the important systems. Remember, and, and let me clarify, when I speak about systems, right, that, that is the supporting hardware. However, the value is an intangible, meaning the information they have. So an example that I can give you here, just to clarify a little bit. So the, the tangible asset is the hardware, is the system. So that is the inventory, the property, the equipment, the cash, the payments do, right? But the, the value for the organization is the intangible that's the that's the business relationship that's the databases that's the customer list trademarks patent technology and so forth those are very important to the organization that's why those systems are important to protect so just to give you a few facts here uh, to understand the value of that information versus uh, talking about the systems themselves right we need to to decouple those uh, for a little bit so for the S&P 500, the S&P 500 companies in 2018, tangible assets like the ones I mentioned, real estate and equipment, comprise just 16% of a company value. Well, in the other hand, the intangibles, right, such as the uh, intellectual property rights and reputations and so forth, are 84% of the company value. Now imagine... And that's where your focus need to be, right? $21 trillion in the U.S. in intangible assets. And that is 84% of the S&P 500 value are on IP rights, reputation included, and all the other intangibles that you have in your organization. That is tremendous value. That is located on your revenue generating system, the ones actually that brings value to that 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 basically is the the essence your company exists. Those systems need to be protected 
and accordingly. Now, take a look at your risk ratio. Take a look at the risks that you're concerned about. Take a list of your asset list. Are these systems at the top? Or, you know, I'll give you a break. Are those systems anywhere on that list? Is, list Identify as such. Because you could give me a list of your complete inventory in the data center, but you have no clue what order they are and what the effect on your company is. So do you know where they are? Are they categorized as such? Are they at the top of your list? Are they a concern on your risk register? Remember, the risk register is those risks that keep you awake at night, those risks that you need to mitigate. Are they there? Do you understand what they are? So think about it. And when you start asking for funding and you start investing, even invest in the resource that you have right now, even if, you, if your funding got cut, right, you don't have anything and you just churning what you have and, and getting more project and trying to make life goes on with only the people and the money that you have today and you have to refocus your team, you have to refocus your efforts, you will need that list. You will need that uh, systems those softwares, those intellectual properties that you need to, to protect. And then you can say and stand up to the board and say, here's where my investment is and how my focus shift a little bit during these ch uh, challenging times is because here are the systems that I need to protect because A, B, and C. And you can list because they will understand. They want a, a healthy company that can sustain the, uh, and survive through these challenging times. And you are you as cybersecurity organization are helping them to make that happen right so this is is just refocusing uh on those areas so that's why it is very important mission-based cybersecurity that understand where revenue generating systems are emission supporting systems are and start protecting from there operations you, you have to worry about everything but remember if you're a cyber risk individual you need to bring these to your management. You need to bring this to your CISO, your CSO, and sit down and understand, here's the strategy. Whatever strategy you have, sir, ma'am, here's the systems that we're supposed to be focused on, right? Well, this is it for today. I just want to uh, uh, talk a little bit about how you can invest whatever dollars you have for 2020 and whatever dollars you will have in 2021 if you're going through a budget uh, uh, forecasting cycle right now. Uh, remember, you will need to invest smartly. Well, you need not only money, but your resources. Right now, it's limited. I don't know if you can hire or not. Um, I don't know if you shorthand your person or not. You will need to work smarter, not harder. Um, so this, I hope this helped you. It provides a little bit of insight and in how this is supposed to be connecting together, connecting the dots. Uh, next podcast I'm going to discuss a little bit is uh, what you're supposed to be worrying about in this area. Uh, uh, right now, I'm putting uh, uh, posts on LinkedIn, um, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, whatever you follow me on. Um, I'm raising uh, uh, six characteristics of a cyber attack. There is an end to the means. Uh, oh, there is a means to the ends, right? So here it is. After those six are posted, I will tell you how you can put this into a strategy so we can start measuring risk in a different way. Remember, uh, measuring risk requires you understanding that uh, of the motivation of your attacker and their experience levels. There's a lot of unknowns there through your regular, you know, uh, risk threats times vulnerabilities times consequence or impact. There's a lot of unknowns to make a sound decision. My approach is a little bit different. As you see on my podcast, preaching the the mission-based cybersecurity, revenue generating system, cybersecurity, and so forth, I have a different way to measure that. And I will share that with you uh, coming up soon. All right. So, well, this is it for now. Uh, please make sure to subscribe and, and leave a review in iTunes so you don't miss any future episodes. And once again, I'm always, always glad that you stopped by today and take a listen. I appreciate your time and spending your time with me here today. All right, so see you next time. I'm Dr. B, your host. Take care.